In this video, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial on how to create and set up a new MetaMask wallet using the MetaMask mobile app. MetaMask is a self-custody hot wallet where you can store various different crypto tokens across several different networks. You can also connect your wallet to decentralized applications on Web3 as well. I'll also point out that I do have a MetaMask step-by-step -step beginner tutorial on how to set it up as an extension on your browser from your computer. So I'll be sure to leave a link to that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. In this video, I'll show you how to create a new MetaMask wallet, how to add different networks to your wallet, and how to add crypto tokens to your wallet as well. Then I'll show you how you can send some crypto tokens into your MetaMask wallet, where to go if you want to buy some crypto using fiat, and how to swap one crypto into another. Then I'll show you how you can send your tokens out of your wallet to an exchange or another wallet address. Then I'll show you how to adjust some of the basic settings, as well as how to adjust some of the basic security settings. All of that and more with some tips and tricks along the way. This video is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before ever using a crypto hot wallet, including MetaMask. I also left you some timestamps in the description down below, so at any point, feel free to skip ahead to a section that might be most relevant to you. Aside from that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. Once you install the app and open it on your phone, just simply come down here and tap where it says get started. Then at the bottom of the screen here, you'll have two options. You can import using a secret recovery phrase. So if you already have a MetaMask wallet as an extension on your browser, you can use the secret key phrase to import that wallet to your phone. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a new wallet and get things set up. So what we'll do is we'll tap right here where it says create a new wallet. Then MetaMask will be asking your permission to gather usage data. Now I typically just opt out of these kinds of things. So for me, I just scroll down this page here and tap where it says no thanks. Then you'll have to scroll through the terms of use, give it a good read. If everything looks good to you, you just tap this box to agree and then tap on accept. Then MetaMask will be asking you to create a password. And this is going to be a password that simply unlocks the wallet. So come up with a good password, enter it in and then create your password. Then MetaMask will begin creating your new wallet and will ask you to secure your wallet. So you're going to have to write down your secret recovery phrase. And this is a master key to your wallet. So this is different than the password to unlock the wallet. The secret phrase will give you the ability to recover your wallet if your phone ever gets broken, but it also gives you the ability to import your wallet to multiple other devices. So you're going to want to write this down and keep it somewhere safe. And don't let anyone get their hands on this. If someone was to get a hold of your secret recovery phrase, they would have the ability to access your wallet and all your funds. Some people get their secret phrase ingrained on a metal card. That way, even if there's a fire, their secret phrase is not destroyed. So whatever you decide to do, just make sure you have a copy of it and keep it somewhere safe and away from other people. To get started with this, just tap right here where it says start. And then on this page here, you would tap on start again. Now MetaMask will be asking you to put in your password that you created for unlocking your wallet. So put in your password and tap on confirm. Then on this page here, you can tap on view to see your secret recovery phrase. So simply tap on view, then you'll be able to see 12 words, which is your secret recovery phrase. So write these words down exactly as you see them and in the exact order and double check, make sure all the spelling is correct. Once you've done that, tap down here where it says continue. Then MetaMask will be asking you to confirm your secret recovery phrase. And to do this, just tap on the words in order as they appeared on the step prior to this. Then tap on complete backup. And congratulations, you'll have created your new MetaMask wallet. So we'll just tap on done. Then MetaMask will be asking you if you'd like to automatically check for security updates. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on enable automatic security checks. And now you'll be inside your new wallet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and come down here and tap on no thanks. And then I'm gonna tap on this X to close this window here. But if you wanna take the tour, by all means, go right ahead. Now you're ready to set up your MetaMask wallet. So the first thing I'll show you how to do is how to add different networks to MetaMask. Some tokens are compatible across many different networks. And some of these networks are much less in gas fees to use than the Ethereum network. So in the future, when you're sending tokens out of your wallet, or if you're swapping one token into another or connecting to a decentralized application, you can often save a lot on gas fees by simply using a different network. And I'll be talking more about gas fees a little bit later in this tutorial. 
In other cases, some tokens are only compatible with specific networks. So obviously you'd need to add the network that that token is compatible with before storing it in your wallet. So in order to add different networks, what we'll do is we'll tap right up here where it says Ethereum mainnet. Then we'd come down here and tap where it says add network. Then MetaMask will be giving you a list of some of the popular networks that you can add inside the wallet. All you need to do from here is simply tap the add button next to the network that you wish to add. So I'm going to go ahead and tap right here on add next to BNB Smart Chain. Then come down here and tap on approve. Now if I want to, I can immediately switch to this network. But for now, I'm just going to tap here on close and let's go ahead and add a couple more networks. So I'll tap right here on add next to Arbitrum 1, tap on approve, and then I'll tap on close. Then let's go ahead and do optimism. So I'll tap here on add, then tap on approve, and now I'll tap on close. Now I've added a few different networks to the wallet. So what we can do from here is I can tap on this X top right hand side of the screen. Then we can come back up here where it says Ethereum mainnet, give that a tap. And now we can see all the different networks that we've added to the MetaMask wallet. And to switch to one of these networks, all you need to do is just simply tap on it. So let's go ahead and tap on the BNB Smart Chain. Now, if it's your first time switching to a network, MetaMask is going to give you a little pop-up with some basic but important information. You can see here on the number one that the native token on this network is BNB. It is the token used for gas fees. So what this means is that you'll need to transfer some BNB into your MetaMask wallet on the Binance chain. Going forward, when you're sending tokens out of your wallet using that network, or if you're swapping tokens on that network, you'll have to pay the gas fees out of your BNB balance that you store inside your MetaMask wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and tap right here on got it. And now you can see that I've switched to the BNB network. If I want to switch to another network, we'll tap up here where it says BNB smart chain. And let's go ahead and tap on Arbitrum 1. And being that this is the first time signing into the Arbitrum 1 network, I'm getting that pop-up window again with that important information. And we can see here on line 1 that the native token on this network is Ethereum. And that's because the Arbitrum 1 network is a layer 2 on Ethereum. So I'll need to send some Ethereum into my MetaMask wallet on the Arbitrum 1 network in order to cover future gas fees. So when I'm sending tokens out of my wallet on the Arbitrum network, or if I'm swapping one token into another, MetaMask will be using my Ethereum balance to pay for the gas fees of those transactions. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap here on Got It. Now I'll show you how you can add different tokens to your wallet. And I'll show you how to do this on the Ethereum main network first. So what we'll do is we'll tap up here at the top, in my case where it says Arbitrum 1, and I'll switch the wallet over to the Ethereum main network. Now at the time of recording, the Ethereum main network has token discovery. So you can simply search for the name of the token you want to add. If it's compatible with Ethereum, it should come up in the search results and it's very easy to add to the wallet. On other networks, you'll have to manually enter in the contract address for the token on that network, which I'll show you how to do that here shortly. So now that we're on the Ethereum mainnet, what we would do is come down here and tap where it says import tokens. Then on this page here, we'll just search for the name of the token that we wish to add to the wallet. So I'll tap on the search box right here and let's go ahead and search for Tether, just like so. As you can see, a result has already come up at the top. So we'll go ahead and tap on that. Then I'm going to tap on it again. Now you can see I've highlighted that token, so we'll scroll down here to the bottom and we'll tap on import. And as you can see, I just added Tether to MetaMask on the Ethereum mainnet. Let's go ahead and do one more. So I'll tap down here on import tokens. And this time, let's go ahead and do Chainlink. So I'll search for Chainlink. I can already see a result, so I'll tap on that. Tap on it again, make sure it's highlighted. Scroll down to the bottom and tap on import. And as you can see, I just added the Chainlink token to MetaMask on the Ethereum mainnet. Now here's how you can do it on other networks. So what I'm going to do is come up here and tap where it says Ethereum mainnet. I'm going to ignore this spam call <laughs> by tapping on the reject button. <laughs> and now I'm going to tap right here on Arbitrum 1. And now I've switched MetaMask over to the Arbitrum 1 network. Now in the future, MetaMask will likely add token discovery to other networks. But for now, you'll have to manually import the token's contract address for that network in order to add it to your wallet. So here's how to get that done. Now that we're on the Arbitrum 1 network, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to tap where it says import tokens. 
And on this page here, you'll see a box up here at the top that says token address. And that's where you need to manually paste in the token's contract address for the network that you wish to add it to. And the easiest way to retrieve this information is by visiting a coin registry such as CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. And I'll leave a link to those sites in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. Now, sometimes on CoinGecko, you won't find the information you're looking for, but you might find it on CoinMarketCap and vice versa. In other cases, if you can't find the contract address, it could also mean that the token maybe just isn't compatible with that particular network. But here's how you get that information. So I'll demonstrate by using CoinMarketCap. And I'll quickly bring CoinMarketCap into frame. Now that I'm on CoinMarketCap, I can tap on this icon right here to begin a search for the token that I wish to add to the wallet. Let's go ahead and do Tether. So I'll start typing in Tether just like so. And I'll tap here on Crypto Assets. And now I can see a result right here at the top for Tether. So we'll go ahead and tap on that. Now that we're on Tether's page, we'll scroll down just a little bit right down here where it says contracts. And here's where you're going to find all the contract addresses for the network that the token is compatible with. And to see all those networks, you just simply tap right here where it says more. Then you'll get a drop down with all the networks that the token is compatible with. And I'm looking for Arbitrum 1 because I'd like to add Tether to MetaMask on the Arbitrum 1 networks. We'll just scroll down until we see Arbitrum. And I can see it right here. So what I'll do from here is I'll tap on these two little boxes next to the Arbitrum 1 contract address, just like so. Now I've copied it to my clipboard. So now I'll bring MetaMask back into frame. And you might have to sign back into your MetaMask wallet. It does sign you out after a certain amount of time. So I'm gonna quickly put in my password and unlock the wallet again. Now that I've unlocked my MetaMask wallet, I can see that I'm still in the Arbitrum 1 network. So I'm gonna come down here and tap where it says import tokens. Now I'm going to paste in that contract address for the Arbitrum 1 network into this box right here for Tether, just like so. Now if I scroll down a little bit, you can see under token symbol that MetaMask has detected that this is USDT. So that looks good to me. We'll scroll down a little further and I'm going to tap right here on import. Then I'll tap on import again. And as you can see, I just added Tether to my MetaMask wallet for the Arbitrum 1 network. So let's go ahead and do one more. I'll tap down here where it says import tokens. And then I'll have to paste in a contract address into this box here for a token that I wish to add to the wallet. So let's go ahead and do Chainlink. And this time I'll demonstrate with CoinGecko. So I'll quickly bring CoinGecko into frame. Now that I'm on CoinGecko, I'll just use the search feature up at the top to search for Chainlink. So we'll tap on the search bar and I'll start typing in Chainlink. I can already see a result down below, so I'll just go ahead and tap on that. And now I'm on Chainlink's page. So from here, we'll scroll down again. And you'll find a section that says info. And right underneath that is where you'll find the contract addresses for all the networks that that token is compatible with. And to see all of those, we'll tap on these three little dots right over here on the right hand side. And of course, I'm looking for the Arbitrum 1 network, and I can see that in this menu right here. So to copy Chainlink's contract address for Arbitrum 1, we'll just tap on these two little boxes right here. Now I've copied that contract address to my clipboard, so I'll go ahead and bring MetaMask back into frame. And of course, MetaMask has signed me out, so I'll have to put in my password and unlock the wallet again. Now that I'm back inside my MetaMask wallet, I can see I'm on the Arbitrum 1 network at the top. So I'm going to come down here and tap where it says import tokens. Then right here in token address, I'm going to paste in Chainlink's contract address for the Arbitrum 1 network, just like so. Now I'll scroll down a bit. I can see under token symbol that MetaMask has detected that this is link, so that looks good to me. We'll scroll down and tap here on import. Then I'll tap on import again. And as you can see, I just added Chainlink to MetaMask for the Arbitrum 1 network. So that's how you can add tokens to different networks on MetaMask. Now in the future, they'll likely have token discovery for most of these networks. So it might be as easy as just searching for the name of the token, like I did earlier on the Ethereum mainnet. But for now, you will have to manually enter the tokens, and that's the process to get that done. Now I'll show you how you can send tokens into your MetaMask wallet from an exchange or another wallet address. And I'll demonstrate by sending some tokens into MetaMask from a crypto exchange called Femix. So the first thing you need to do is choose the network that you wish to receive the tokens on. And you can do that by tapping up at the top. So in my case where it says Arbitrum 1. 
then tap on the network that you wish to receive the tokens on. I'm perfectly fine receiving them on Arbitrum 1, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it on that. Next, you'll need to copy your deposit address for that network. And you'll be able to see your deposit address right here in this box where it says address. Mine's behind a little black box. Now, this is your deposit address for the entire network. So any token that's compatible with that network will be sent to that address. So what we'll do is we'll tap on the two little boxes next to that address. And now we've copied it to the clipboard. So what I'll do now is I'll bring Femix into frame and I'll go ahead and send some Ethereum from Femix and into MetaMask on the Arbitrum network. So I'll bring Femix in just like so. Now that I'm on the Femix crypto exchange, I need to find the crypto withdrawal form. On some exchanges, it's called a transfer button. On Coinbase, it's called a send button. But on most exchanges, you're looking for a withdrawal button. So what I need to do is come down here, tap where it says wallet. And I can see a withdrawal button right here. So I'll go ahead and tap on that. And now I need to choose Ethereum and I can see it right here. So I'll go ahead and tap on Ethereum. Now I need to choose the correct network. So I want this Ethereum to arrive in the Arbitrum network on MetaMask. So I need to select the Arbitrum 1 network, which I can see right here. So I'll go ahead and tap on that. Sometimes you'll see a little box. You'll have to tap on that box. You'll get a drop down menu with all the different networks that you can use. So just tap on that box, look for the proper network, and then select it. You want to make sure that the network matches on both sides of this. You don't want to send crypto from one network and into another network or you will lose your coins. And you also don't want to send crypto from one network into an incompatible network that will result in a loss of your coins as well. The only way you can send from one network into another is by using a crypto bridge. And I do have a tutorial and how to do that. So I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. So now I can see that I've selected Ethereum and I've selected the Arbitrum 1 network. So now I need to paste in my MetaMask deposit address for the Arbitrum 1 network into this withdrawal address box right here, just like so. Now I can come down on this page and I can choose how much Ethereum I wish to send into the wallet. I just have a tiny bit of Ethereum here, so I'll go ahead and tap on max. And now I'll tap on withdraw and confirm. Now my Ethereum's on its way from Phoenix and over to my MetaMask wallet on the Arbitrum 1 network. So I'll go ahead and bring MetaMask back into frame. And now you can see the Ethereum has arrived in my MetaMask wallet on the Arbitrum 1 network. And that took about five minutes. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer or it can happen a little bit faster. But here's a quick tip with this. If it's your first time sending tokens into your MetaMask wallet from an exchange or another wallet address, just send a small amount first. When the smaller amount arrives, you can have the confidence to send in larger amounts. That way you know you have everything set up correctly. So I'll go ahead and do one more example. This time, I'll send some USDC into MetaMask for the Arbitrum 1 network. So once again, I need to copy my Arbitrum 1 deposit address, which is found in this address box right here. So just tap on those two little boxes. And now I've copied that to the clipboard. Remember, this is your deposit address for the entire network. So any tokens compatible with this network, you'll be sending them to that address. So now I'll bring Femix back into frame. And now that I'm back on Femix, I'm going to tap right here on the withdrawal button. And then I'm going to come down here and tap where it says USDC. Now I need to choose the correct network, which is the Arbitrum 1 network. And I can see that right here. So I'll go ahead and tap on that. So now I've selected the token I wish to receive as well as the correct network. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to paste in my deposit address for MetaMask for the Arbitrum 1 network into this box right here, just like so. And then I'm going to choose how much USDC I wish to send into MetaMask. I just have a tiny bit here, so I'll go ahead and just tap here where it says max. And then I'll tap on withdraw and confirm. Now that USDC is on its way from Phoenix and into my MetaMask wallet on the Arbitrum 1 network. So I'll go ahead and bring MetaMask back into frame. And now I'm back inside my MetaMask wallet on the Arbitrum 1 network. And of course, we can't see that USDC in my balances here because I haven't added that token into my wallet just yet. But it's all good. I can go ahead and do that now. So I'll just go ahead and bring CoinGecko into frame here. And now that I'm on CoinGecko, I'll tap right here on search. And I'll go ahead and search for USDC. I can see a result here, so I'll just go ahead and tap on that. And then on this page here, I'll scroll down where it says info. Underneath that is contract. We'll tap on these three little dots right here. I can see Arbitrum 1 down here, so we'll tap on those two little boxes to copy it to clipboard. Then I'll bring MetaMask back into frame. I can see I'm on the Arbitrum 1 network. 
So I'll come down here, tap on import tokens, paste in USDC's token contract address into this box right here, like so. Then I'll come down, tap on import, and import again. And now you can see I've added USDC coin to MetaMask on the Arbitrum 1 network. And now we can see the USDC that I sent from Femix and into MetaMask. Now I'll show you where to go if you'd like to buy some crypto using fiat through MetaMask. To get this done, the first thing you want to do is choose the network that you wish to receive the tokens on. And of course, you just tap on the networks up at the top. Then tap on the network that you wish to receive the tokens on. I'll go ahead and just leave this on Arbitrum 1. Next, come down here and tap on these arrows. And then tap at the top here where it says buy. And then we'll go ahead and tap here where it says get started. Next, you'll have to select your region by tapping on this box right here. And then choose your country or region that you reside in. Next, you'll have to select your state or your province. And then tap on continue. Then MetaMask will be showing you the payment methods that are available to you. Now, if you don't see all the same payment methods on your screen, that's likely due to your local government regulations. Different governments around the world simply have different regulations, and that could restrict some of the payment methods that you're able to use. I'll also point out that some of these payment methods have more crypto purchasing options than others. For example, if I was to tap here on Google Pay as my payment method, then come down here and tap on continue to amount, You'll notice that if I tap on this box right here to select the crypto I wish to purchase, that there's only a few options in here, at least at the time of recording. Perhaps by the time you're watching this video, there's more options available. But what you could always do is you could buy some USDC and then later swap that into any crypto that you like. And I will be showing you how to do crypto swaps later on in this tutorial. Now let's go ahead and minimize this out. And I'll hit the back button. And let's imagine that I want to use debit or credit, so we'd tap on that then tap on continue to amount. Now, if I tap on this box here to select the crypto that I wish to purchase, you'll notice that there's more crypto purchasing options by using credit or debit. So you just simply tap on the crypto that you wish to purchase. I'll go ahead and tap here on Tether. Next, come down to this box here, give it a tap, and type in the amount that you wish to spend on crypto. So for example, I'll just do something like this. Then tap on done. If you wanna change the fiat that you're spending, you could always tap right here where it says USD. And then you can change the fiat that you're spending in this menu right here. But I'll go ahead and just leave this on USD. Once you have your order set up the way that you want it, you'd come down here and tap where it says get quotes. Then MetaMask is going to fetch you the best quote to purchase crypto at the time of making your purchase. Now, as you can see, MetaMask has come back and it's suggesting that I use Ramp to complete this purchase. Now, these are third-party service providers. So this means you'll have to create an account with that service provider and likely complete KYC as well. So keep that in mind. I'll also mention that at the time of recording, although these third-party service providers are perfectly fine, sometimes I find that the fees are not the most competitive. So always keep an eye on the fees as well. You can see in this case right here that I'd be receiving a 191 tether for my $200 spend. If you wish to proceed with one of these third-party service providers, you just tap right here. So in my case where it says continue with ramp network, just like so. Then you'll be redirected to that third-party service provider. So you'll need to create your account, do KYC, and then complete your purchase. Once your purchase is complete, the third-party service provider will be sending your crypto into your MetaMask wallet on the network that you made the purchase with. So I'll just go ahead and tap here on cancel. So in my case, my crypto would be arriving in my MetaMask wallet on the Arbitrum 1 network. Now I'll show you how you can swap one crypto into another. So the first step is choose the network that you wish to do the swap on by tapping right up at the top here. Then tap on the network that you have your token stored in. Mine are in Arbitrum 1, so I'll just go ahead and leave it on that. Next, tap on these arrows in the middle of your screen down at the bottom. Then tap right here where it says swap. And here's the form where you can swap one crypto into another. So choose the crypto that you wish to swap by tapping right here and then selecting it from your balances right here. So I'll go ahead and swap some USD coin. Next, choose the token that you wish to swap into by tapping right here. Then you can select it from this list right here, or you can search for a token in this box right up above. I'll go ahead and do Chainlink, so I'll tap on that. 
And now I'm set up to swap some USDC into Chainlink. You'll be able to see your available balance right here, so you'll know exactly what you're working with. So if you'd like to swap a custom amount, just type it in like so. Or if you'd like to swap your entire balance, you can always tap right here where it says use max. Then when you have your swap set up the way that you want it, you'd come down here and tap where it says get quotes. And MetaMask is a swap aggregator. So it's gonna search for the best quote and then it's gonna reveal it to you. So you can see right here that MetaMask has found me a quote and I can see how much of the other asset I'd be receiving for my swap. You'll also be able to review your gas fees right here. And remember, gas fees are paid out of the native token for that network. So for Arbitrum 1, the native token is Ethereum. So we can see right here that the gas fee that I'll pay for this swap is approximately 60 cents worth of Ethereum, which isn't too bad. So when you're ready to swap, you come down here and swipe to the right. And now MetaMask is approving USDC for the swap. USDC is now approved and the swap is complete. And you can see down here that my USDC coin was swapped into Chainlink, as easy as that. If I wanted to swap my Chainlink into something else, I'd tap on these arrows right here, tap on swap. We'll come up here, tap where it says ETH. We'll select Chainlink by tapping on it. Now we'll choose a token that we wish to swap into, so I'll tap right here on select the token. And I'll go ahead and just swap this back into USDC, so I'll tap on that. And I'll go ahead and just tap on use max. But of course, you can always type in a custom amount. Now I'll go ahead and tap here where it says get quotes. And then MetaMask will fetch me the best quote that it can find at the time of making this swap. And now I can see how much USDC I'll be receiving for the chain link that I'm swapping. And down here, of course, I can see the estimated gas fee, which is only about 60 cents of Ethereum. So that looks fine to me. I'll go ahead and just swipe this to the right. And now the swap is in progress. MetaMask is approving Chainlink for swapping. And now the swap is pending. And now the swap is complete. You can see my Chainlink balance went down to zero and I now have 130 USDC in my wallet. Now I'll show you how you can send tokens out of your MetaMask wallet to an exchange or a wallet address. And I'll demonstrate by sending my USDC out of MetaMask over to a crypto exchange called Femix. So the first thing I need to do is I need to retrieve the deposit address for USDC on the Arbitrum network from Femix. So I'll bring Femix into frame. Now that I'm on Femix, I need to find my deposit address for USDC. So to do that with this particular exchange, I'll have to tap here where it says wallets. Then I'll tap right here where it says deposit. And of course, I'll select on-chain deposit because this is happening over the blockchain. Next, I need to select USDC, which I can see right here. So I'll tap on that. And now I'm on the deposit form for USDC, but I need to select the correct network. So I'm sending my USDC out of the Arbitrum network, which means I have to select the Arbitrum 1 network as my deposit address on Femix. And I can see it right here. So I'll go ahead and tap on that. Remember, it's important to match the network on both sides of this. If you send from one network and into another, you're likely going to lose your coins forever. So make sure you select the correct network. Now that I have the correct coin selected, as well as the correct network, I can now see my deposit address for USDC on the Arbitrum 1 network. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy it by tapping on the copy button right here. And now bring MetaMask back into frame. Now that I'm back in my MetaMask wallet, I need to come down here and tap on these two arrows. Then tap right here where it says send. Now I can paste in my deposit address for USDC on the Arbitrum network right here, just like so. Once you've done that, tap here on next. Now you need to choose the token that you wish to send. So in my case, I want to send USDC. So I'm going to tap right here where it says ETH and then I'm going to select USDC right here. You don't want to send your tokens into the wrong deposit address. So double check and make sure that you have this set to the token that you wish to send and that you have the correct deposit address for that token as well as the network. So now I need to choose how much USDC I wish to send from MetaMask and over to Femix. Of course, you can type in a custom amount if you wish like so, and you'll be able to see your available balance right here. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just tap right here where it says use max to send my entire USDC balance from MetaMask and over to Femix. 
This looks good to me, so I'm going to come down here and tap on Next. Now MetaMask is giving me the opportunity to confirm this transaction, and you'll be able to see your gas fee right here. Remember, that gas fee will be paid out of the native token of the network that you're using. So in this situation, I'm using the Arbitrum 1 network, so this gas fee will be paid out of Ethereum. That looks perfectly fine to me, so I'm going to come down here and tap on Send. Now my transaction is submitted, waiting for confirmation. And as you can see, my USDC has been sent from MetaMask over to Femix on the Arbitrum 1 network. So I'll quickly bring Femix into frame. And now that I'm on Femix, I can tap right here on USDC. And as you can see, the USDC has arrived on the Femix crypto exchange. Now, if it's your first time sending tokens out of your MetaMask wallet, just send a small amount first. When the smaller amount arrives, then you can have the confidence to send larger amounts. Now I'll quickly show you where you can adjust some of the security settings inside your MetaMask wallet. To get this done, we tap on this little gear icon bottom right hand side of the screen. Then tap right here where it says security and privacy. Now in the future, if you ever want to reveal your secret recovery phrase, if you lose it or whatever, just tap right here where it says reveal secret recovery phrase. And that will show you your recovery phrase. Make sure to write it down. You can get it ingrained on a little metal card if you wish. That way, if there's a fire, it still doesn't destroy your secret recovery phrase. But if you do get locked outside of your wallet and you don't have your password and you don't have your secret recovery phrase, you're not going to be able to recover this. You can only recover this if you have access to your wallet. So in the future, if you ever need to see your secret recovery phrase, you can come in here, tap on reveal secret recovery phrase. If we scroll down a little bit further, you can change your password by tapping right here on change password, and you can also adjust the auto lock. In this tutorial, you'll notice I got locked out of the wallet a bunch of times, and that's because you can see I have this set to after 30 seconds. If you'd like to change that, just tap here on after 30 seconds, and then you, you'll find some options down below. And you can select never if you want as well, but obviously I would not suggest that because if someone got a hold of your phone, they could potentially have access to your funds as well. So that's how you can adjust some of your basic security settings when using the application. I'll go ahead and just tap on back here. You can always tap on general settings right here. And if you want to change the currency that you're viewing your balances in, you can tap on this box right here. And you can select a different fiat currency from this drop down menu here. If you'd like to change the language of your wallet, you'll find that right here. So you can tap here where it says English. And of course, select the language you wish to view things in. So take some time, come into your settings and get the MetaMask wallet set up that works best for you. And there you have it, your introduction to setting up a new MetaMask wallet using the MetaMask mobile app. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out some other MetaMask tutorials, which I put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.